One last thing I just want to cover up in this module is how you can access the ribbon using the keyboard shortcuts. As soon as you hit on Alt key in your keyboard, for example, I'm just clicking on it. You can see that there are these alphabets that appear up in the tabs and the quick access toolbar, right? In quick access toolbar, you have these numbers, but in case tabs of you have these alphabets. For example, here I have alphabet letter H for home tab, right? Now, if I hit on H letter in your keyboard, I would have access to all these options and there are these alphabets again for these options. For example, if I want to use the cut options, then I can simply press X, like you can see here, right? And also if I want to bold some sentence, you can click on the one, that's under B, right? Again, if you want to align some sentence, you can use this toggle button, that's called A, C, A, L and A, R, center, left and right, right? For example, let me show you if I take my Excel learning here, my Excel learning entering it i just want to bold this sentence just select this alt you can see the bold definitely will come under this font category under this home tab right so first we have to go to home for that click on h after that you can see bold as one right click on one see it's get bold and after that i want to put the underline again alt h see underline tool also which come under font group which come under home tab right Go to H again, we can see the underline is 3, right? Just click on 3. And underline or double underline is asking. Again, U. I just want a single underline. U it. See, it's getting underlined. If In case if you want to give some border on it, just select this cell. After that, Alt again. So we can see that border is under font group only, right? So again, H and click on this B. After that, it's asking for what kind of border. I just want a thick outside border. So click on T. See, it's become borderline. See, clear? So this is a way you can access the shortcut keys. So I would recommend you to practice with shortcut key instead of depending on the mouse. Then only you can improve your productivity and you save your time and effort. Okay, so hope you clear this topic and let's move to next lesson.